Welcome back to the channel from the one and the only um, review gamer where I talk about movies, toys, video games, and pretty much everything I like. So I said I would showcase my complete Disney, Blu-ray, and 2D collection. That's part of it. I'm here. Anyway, so anyway, I want to start with my Blu-rays first. So. And first up, we got the 4K Ultra HD release of Disney's The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. We got, uh, this is technically a 20th Century Fox movie, but it, Disney owns Fox now, so Miss Doubtfire. My only Disney Steel book I have, uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Miracle on 34th Street, you can actually watch this on Disney Plus. It's by Fox. Uh, Disney Pixar's Inside Out. Uh, you can, let me know in the comments, the comment section down below if you consider this a Disney movie. It kind of is with it being owned by Fox, and I do believe Fox still owns Blue Sky Studios, so technically Disney owns Blue Sky Studios. Uh, Epic. Uh, WWE Studios, uh, the Marine 4 moving target, made by Fox, so it's in this. Uh, the R-rated film, that's awesome, made by Fox, and Marvel, Logan, the exclusive Walmart Deadpool, uh, slipcover, the exclusive Walmart VHS slipcover, of Home Alone. This was actually available on Disney Plus at launch, but it's no longer on Disney Plus. But I consider, consider it a Disney movie. This one is made by Fox. Journey Moody and the Not Bummer Summer. Uh, the Blu ray Duty of Disney's Christopher Robin. Really good Disney movie. Uh, we got Disney Pixar's Coco, a wonderful Pixar movie. Um, the first one of this one is on Disney Plus, but the rest of them is not. Uh, this is one of the movies that's not available on Disney Plus. But Diary of a Kid 3, Dog Days. This one is not available on Disney Plus quite yet. Right now it's on Netflix. Uh, Disney Pixar's Incredibles 2. Another one that's not available on Disney Plus quite yet. Uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahuas 2. Um, the Disney Pixar's Cars 3. Really good Cars movie. I love that one. But I think Cars 2. And uh, Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 3. So those are my Disney Bots movies. Um, next we got the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we got on DVD, which is the only one I have on DVD, um, Marvel Studios Ant-Man, part of Phase 2. Um, I don't have any of the Phase 1 movies, they're in the mail, so they'll be coming sooner rather than later. Uh, um, then we got on um, Blu-ray, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Also on Blu-ray, uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. And then we, I also picked up the Marvel Studios Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase Two box set, which includes Iron Man Three, Thor: The Dark World, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers: Age of Ultron, and Ant-Man. This is actually UK release, the Cinematic Universe collection. Uh, the US release. A little expensive for me. And then I got the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 3 Part 1 box, so which includes Captain America Civil War. Yes. Doctor Strange. That was a good movie. Uh, Guardians Galaxy Volume 2. Spider Man Homecoming. And Thor Ragnarok. So this is my Marvel Cinematic Universe spot sets. Then on DVD, we got. 
Uh, it's I see on Disney Channel, but it's not on Disney Plus. Regular Rebel. Santa Claus Three: The Escape Clause. And this one's made by Fox and Blue Sky Studios, so technically a Disney movie, but not really released by Disney. Rio. One that's also made by Fox, but totally not made by Fox, and that looks like a lot like John Morrison now. Uh, Russell Madness, and I guess John Rathmore is in this movie too. Wow. Not playing a voice, I know that for a fact. Uh, I don't know too much, unless it's not released by Disney, but totally is a Disney title now. The other ones are, these, these are available on Disney Plus. Uh, Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning, and Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea on a special uh, two disc duty collection. The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. More I do hope comes on Disney Plus really, really, really soon. Night at the Museum 3. Two of the Tomb actually kind of all the museum movies just released on Disney Plus because uh, Adam Ben Stiller does an amazing job playing a night museum guy, security guard. Uh, one I feel like maybe not be able to be on Disney Plus. It is in the category that will be released on Disney Plus, but it's just an underrated movie in my opinion. It's don't get a lot of it gets it gets more hate than love. Uh, Nine Lives. Those movies are a hit and miss. One you can actually watch on Disney Plus right now. Zootopia. That's one took me quite a very long time to be able to find, but I finally found it on eBay. I made sure it was legit. And it pretty much is, from what I can tell. I can't tell any blurriness on the disc. Uh, no purple hue on the back and stuff like that and it looks like one that made by uh, Echo Bridge because I have some of the DVDs from Walmarts and it just does look like it. Um, one I do feel like needs to be released on um, Disney Plus under wraps. Because the first Disney Channel original movie. One you can actually watch on Disney Plus. Um, this is season two. The only reason I got this was because of the Infinity Saga of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, the Infinity, the, the Superhero Squad show, got season two, uh, volume one and two. One I really feel like it's not gonna be on Disney Plus. Um Can't find a rating on it, so The Passion. It's released by Fox, so I put it in the Disney category. I do believe when this one's I do believe this one's on Disney Plus by my people in the comments comment section down below if you do you have Disney Plus? I do. Um uh, uh, Walt Disney Studios presents uh, Pete's Dragon. I really don't think this is on Disney Plus. Uh, the Pit the Hollow Games, which I want to I might be mistaken. I know, I do know for a fact they do have the Disney Fair movies on there. I just don't know about that one. Uh, starring Dub Camera, Sophia Carson, and Boomer Stewart, and unfortunately got passed away last year. Uh, Cam Cameron Boys, uh, Disney Descendants, I love these movies, so, um, Descendants, we also got Descendants 2, and it's the last movie he worked on, but now we have to see, on uh, Descendants 3, but at least, yeah, I don't think you've ever seen it, you might have seen it uh, before we did, hopefully, uh, we got Sophia the First, Dear Sophia, a World Collection, so be the first. Not the, it's not on Disney Plus. Like it's on Netflix, but the first season one, like the mini movie that came out for Sophia the First, actually first aired on 
uh, Disney Junior back in the day, but never actually not available on Disney Plus. I really want this movie to be on Disney Plus. Um, so yeah, one of these, this one might may not be on Disney Plus. I don't know. It's a holiday movie, and some of the Fox movies are actually on Disney Plus. And from what I can tell, Fox did make this. Yeah, Fox. Um, Jingle All the Way. So, possibly could be a Disney movie. I know this one for this fact, for a fact, this is Disney. So, um, still has one more sticker on it. I have opened it. I think. Not all the way back in 2018. We got a sequel already. But I'm not seeing the sequel yet. Uh, Zombies. So. Yep. Disney Zombies. So uh, there you guys go, there's my complete uh, Blu-ray and DVD collection video. And if you guys want to pick up these two, I'll post both of these in the comments and the links and my uh, link down below so you can guys pick these up. This one was a little more expensive than this one, but I got both of them. So, yeah. So I can actually watch some movies that's Marvel related without random over and over and over again. That's why I got these. Because I, I have, I used to go to the library for the show down to this uh, COVID-19 virus running around the lake, lake. And I used to, and, I, and I'm running these from the DVD on Netflix. Blu-ray Netflix. Um, the ones I can't watch on Disney Plus and Netflix don't have. So I can finally watch Okay, all these ones except for Spider-Man Homecoming is on Disney Plus. And then all these ones on Disney Plus. But I really want to get to the physical release of all these movies because I am a physical collector. The uh, main reason I got these in place so we can watch like, some of the exclusives and watch the Pirates Scary movie and stuff like that. But I'll probably never rent uh, or never buy because I'm not really that massive fan of them. But the Marvel movies, I love to watch a whole lot. And I'm constantly doing ranking videos and um, reviews on all these movies. So I figured, hey, I might as well go ahead and pick up Phase 3 and Phase 2. Part. I also do have Phase 1, so I actually have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 17 out of the 23 movies now. So, a lot more than I used to have. I only used to have three out of 23 movies. So, I needed 20 more. So, that, I need like six more, I think, now. Which is a big major decrease from what I used to be at. So, anyway. So, my goal for the rest of this year is to pick up the rest of the MCU Phase 3. Um, so anyway, there it is. Marvel Studios, Marvel Smack Universe. Uh, let me know in the comments in the comment section down below. Uh, once I get um, Phase 3, the rest of Phase 3 and then the Phase 1, I'm probably doing a big giant uh, ranking video where I rank all the MCU movies from worst to best. So... Yeah, if you want my honest opinion, I think Marvel's done a well job making these movies. 23 movies later, they're still going strong. So, amazing. I think, it's, uh, honestly, from my honest opinion, I think Marvel is actually a bigger franchise now than Star Wars and the Fast and Furious. I mean, if you look at it, MCU has 23 movies. While the Fast and Furious franchise has... 10? Fast and Furious 8. I only have, okay, Fast and Furious only has 8, 9, 10. Okay, I lost count. And then Star Wars has episode 9 just came out, but so there's only 11 
of the Star Wars franchise, so. And that's including Solo, a Star Wars story, and Rogue One, a Star Wars story. But, yep. So, anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching this video of showcasing my plate, um, Marvel Collection. Like I said, if you guys want to pick up any of the bot sets, I'll post a link for these two in the comments in the, in the video box so you can guys pick them up for yourselves. If you want to spend it, it's a great deal. Spend the price. I spent 40 I spent $100 for both of these. So I think. I forgot how much I spent. But it wasn't too high. But I really wanted to get this box set. Uh, I could have wanted the DVD, but the DVD would not work where I live at. Because I don't have a region free DVD player. But I do have a Blu ray player that can play these Blu rays. Because so these Blu rays are actually not region locked. Which I'm going to try them right after you've done this video. So, anyway, that's you guys. Alright, bye.